Aye, officer. Factory balanced. Bakelite and stainless steel. Anything I can help you with? You've graduated to low bringer now? Men with authority have their quirks. Comes with never being second guessed about anything. So what brings you here, Lawbringer? A fishing village on the seashore. This place doesn't really have a name. It's sometimes called Illicibla. The sign on the street leading here is illegible. Has been since they built this place. The name is Lillian. People call me Net Picker. I think I have time for questions. And that was actually the second one. Indeed, you're always confused as to your whereabouts. Ask her about the cool sword. Helps to break the ice. Unfortunately, the factory sold this one with a three-year warranty instead of a story. <laughs> it's to intimidate folks, mostly. Not really. I know some basic moves, and I know it sure as hell beats a knife when you're in a tough spot. But not when you're in a tight spot. It's a regular mass-produced sword, like a shovel or an axe. Nothing fancy, just for intimidation. From time to time, people need a lesson in respect. That's just the way it is. Back in the day, I caught the eyes of many men. <laughs> and believe me, men need a lesson in manners from time to time. No, I'm afraid not. Attempting to confiscate the blade I used to keep these animals in check? You put me in an early grave. She refuses, but your word is the law. You are law. She's making a joke. Her voice softens. Is she flirting with you? A little? You think she might be? What makes you think we haven't? <laughs> the truth is that almost everyone in this life is scared and tired and stupid and too dull for that. That goes for men too. But they put on an act for us. Pretend like everything's good and living in shit doesn't bother them. Like anyone falls for that. That does not go for real men. It does not go for you. Show her. Show her the wonder. Coach means the expression. Sure. It looks as if you could face down any horror in the world with that same unchanging grin. It's like a shield. The traces of her laughter are still there, in her eyes, fading fast. Some went to patch their wounds, their lesson learned. Others were more thick-headed. And one of them, I ended up marrying. Guess I enjoyed the way he bled. If it is, then why the melancholy? Gone. The harbour seawall endures the wash of the freezing waves. Many things wash up against it and onto the beaches of Rivershop. Some inanimate, some just no longer alive. You shudder. To the waves. 
the sea took him. It was a long time ago. He didn't respect the sea. Went out there, drunk like a skunk, and sure enough, one day, the boat was found floating empty. The bloated corpse turned up two weeks later. Now, before you tell me how sorry you are for my loss, know that it was four years ago, and I've moved on. There's only so much mourning you can do for a drunk with sinewy muscles. She really likes those muscles, though. It's in the way she pronounces sinewy. Us working folk don't have the luxury to be bedsick with melancholy. I buried him, mourned for an appropriate amount of time, and went on. Life didn't really change that much for me and the kids. This is neither a touchy nor a very interesting topic for her. She looks like she's ready to go on a date with another, better, drunk. Ask her. Both of you could need some action. Do it! Hit on the widow! It's the right thing to do! Let's see. Who are you looking for? Uh, I don't think I know what these are. Care to elaborate? Aha! Like snowmen. Two old guys have been wandering around here, nose in sand, talking nonsense about snowmen and the like. I don't really know. Further down the peninsula, I guess. I mean, that's where they were heading. Who else are you looking for besides snowmen? Yeah, I'm not really looking for that anymore. Not much into the middle class ones either. Could do with some landed gentry, but apparently they don't make those anymore. Wish I could help you with that, but I haven't seen your working class husband. Maybe I can help you find someone else. She seems genuinely sorry for not being able to help you. Well, how can I assist you then, officer? Like I said, fish mostly. Sail the waves, take care of the kids, pick nets. Right now I'm tarring a little skiff. I sell the fish to people in the Delta to serve at their fancy restaurants. Authentic insular Indian cuisine. Sometimes I also walk to the beach to see what the sea has given up. The sea is full of surprises. Keep it professional, man. Don't make it sound like you're hitting on her. This is what is called a conversation. You don't have to be guarded right now. Wood, pieces of glass. Every once in a while we see dead bodies. Human, animal, fish, other odd sea creatures. A mine washed ashore once. Bottles, drugs also. Lost cargo in general. Most of the time it's just wood and glass. All right. Major choice moment. You only get to ask one thing. It would be weird to say them all. Choose wisely. Mines. Mines. You need mines. Well, the RCM has to wait for another one, because some army folks came by, took it in the middle of the bay and blew it up. The blast was surprisingly timid for such a huge spiky thing. Spiky? Must have been a naval contact mine. Sure is. The sun, I call her. Coated with a fresh layer of tar just yesterday. It'll take some time for it to dry, assuming the sunny days continue.
Hi, the sea's gonna calm down soon. I can feel it. The wind is turning southeast. What's on your mind, officer? You think she really needs more of that after a man died at sea? What if I told you it is actually possible to go on a date sober? Before recorded history, men and women were able to do simple, very primitive things together sober. Acknowledge the situation and keep it basic. I have, and I don't really. Now, go for it. You just want to go for a walk. What kind of a monster doesn't want to go for a walk? Walks are innocent. Walks are fucking great cardio. Very stable fat burner. Aerobic exercise. Just a walk? I don't know, officer. I would not have taken you for an innocent perambulator. Where would this walk take us, officer? Nothing creepy, strange, or out there. Keep it eerie and simple. Creepy? What is this kink shaming? All right, I will walk with you. But you need to understand that nothing is going to happen. We're just walking. Me too. It's been ages since I just had a normal conversation with one of you guys. She means men. All right, I'll go put the kids to bed and we'll meet at Land's End in 15 minutes. She doesn't wait for an answer. You better get ready. There, on the ice, target practice. Target practice for improving your aim. Some of us have been wondering when you'll get around to that. Precisely, no obstructions, just the seagull. Pick up some dirt and throw it at the bird. Come on, hurry up. No, don't throw anything at the bird. The bird will get hurt. It's a seagull. They're practically immortal. And the only thing you'll be throwing is some dirt. It's guaranteed no one will get hurt. Come on, do it. Don't be such a pussy. It'll be fun. Especially while the lieutenant is gone. No, it won't be fun. It'll be annoying. You'll be annoying. It will be okay from a purely physical point of view. These birds are used to worse things than bits of flying soil, and you'll miss. Particles of soil, grass, and tiny rocks fly in a wide arc over the seagull's head. The bird doesn't even bat an eye told you we need to practice. What if this was a combat situation? We wouldn't be talking anymore. Try again. A clump of soil seems to graze the bird's wing, but the gull just fluffs its feathers and turns another side. It really doesn't seem to care. Fuck off, you bipedal rodent. Whispers its psionic eye. Better, but practice makes perfect. One more time. 
right into the sea bull's eye. Oh no. steadily at the waves. A sudden gust picks up her dark hair and lets it fall again, tussled, wild. She brushes a few stray locks from her eyes and only then spots you approaching. Aye, so here you are. It's late and the sun is going down. It'll be dark soon. If we stay here long enough, we will be joined by a cortege of drunks and teenagers. Know that you're not the first guy to bring a girl to Land's End. This is what the locals call a, a make-out spot. <laughs> that is not going to happen here today. I just want to make that clear, Dimples. Her thoughts are still elsewhere with distances across the water, and with the water itself. Across the rusty water, that's La Delta, the financial district. In the mist-covered distance, towers rise as a rebuke to the poverty of this coast. <laughs> Drinking men aren't known for keeping their appointments. The world. <laughs> Those big words men like to throw around as though they had weight. Let's just admire this piece of the world we happen to have in front of us, eh? As she turns to face the sun reflected in the waves and the skyscrapers rising across the bay, you cannot help following her steady gaze. The sun reflected in the waves and the skyscrapers rising across the bay is mesmerizing. Your mind clears for a moment as your senses take it all in. Not just the glass skyscrapers fragile looking in the shimmering air. River Esperance flowing into the bay. Isn't it strange for this all-powerful thing, the sun, to be so generous towards us? You know, the best time to go out fishing is usually towards sunset, when the water is warmer. The sun also falls on the capeside tenements and war-torn ruins. An old sea fortress juts out, seemingly impervious to the sheen cast over everything else, shaking you out of your reverie. The sun does little for the dead, and those hopelessly lost in their own minds. Or people living in desert climates with sparse vegetation and little drinking water. Oh, that was a bit of pride and a bit of superstition. And a bit of conceptual unity, too, it being yellow and all. Now you're just nitpicking. But I, I concede, maybe desert people sometimes disagree. 
The salt in the air and the cries of the gulls in the skewers. Grit of the sand and the green glint of broken bottles. But still your gaze always returns to the dazzling streaks of light, wherever they may be reflected, their opulence. It's bringing us spring, summer. It's entirely on our side. No matter what we do or who we are. For absolutely no reason. It's unlike no other powerful being. Certainly no powerful organisation or government. How can that be? I guess we wouldn't really be here if that thing wasn't on our team. You would be incinerated, or worse. Maybe some general remarks before you say something big. Work your way up to the cool. Thank you. I'm half Ubi. My mother was from Ubi Sunt. Not a lot of sun there, I hear. Though I've never been. The wind ruffles her hair, silver streaked in the moonlight. These? These aren't real fish hooks, silly. They're earrings shaped to look like fish hooks. A drunk called Rosemary brought them to me. I kept them. She's right. They're made mostly of plastic. A cheap novelty gift you can buy from a flower shop or a kiosk. The wind ruffles her hair, silver streaked in the moonlight. <laughs> it's enough that my fish goes there. Fifty real apiece they ask for spring cod. Out on the terrace of La Fruit de Fond, a hip business lunch spot in downtown La Delta, glasses clink over a spread of oysters. Someone can't decide what to eat. Someone recommends a ceviche. Someone shields her eyes, trying to see across the bay. Good one. Um, I'm gonna go with the rope. She thinks it was a riddle. She must not even know of that business. Better that way. Here we go. Two different approaches to cap this off with style. Aye. And a benevolent one. When did you last have one of those on your side? Well, now you have that giant thing to watch over you. So, to hell with love. You know, the wind's gonna pick up soon and I have to go, but have this. The sun's good, but it doesn't stick things. I've no use for it anymore. No, the men around here are too drunk to pose a threat to me. Doubt it, but thank you for the company. This is as far as it goes with her. You'd need to put a year between you and your last drink for anything more. Farewell. <laughs>